What's up, the world? This is Classic Gamer coming at you with an episode of Seven Days to Die. In today's episode, I'm going to do something new. I started a random gen, and I have no idea what I'm going to find out here. Uh, I started off in the winter biome, and actually just took a quick trip through here. I'll show you the map. It's a really unusual map how there's just a thin stripe of burnt forest, uh, land, a little bit of snow, all in one. So I just happened to come across this cabin here and uh, I decided, hey, you know, this might be a good starter place to start with, you know, a uh, place to protect me from the, the first horde of the seventh day. So what I've done is I've actually uh, just uh, you know, boarded up these windows here, give a little extra protection, a little spippy. Uh, added a door because I sort of had to break in and the cool thing is it actually came with a forge I mean how awesome is that I didn't have to screw around by buying a forge or you know looking for all the parts to make one uh, especially starting off this is incredibly handy to have uh, the other cool thing is uh, I mean it doesn't really have an attic but check this out I decided to just bust a hole in the roof and what I'm going to do is, I made some, uh, some blocks here. Let's go ahead and use those. Check this out. I'm just going to go ahead and pop my way up. Give myself a little bit of zombie resistance here. Especially for that seventh day. I mean, check this out. I can completely just build this whole roof out as like one big attic and be completely safe because I could just remove this or you know just add a ladder and after but check this out this is awesome I can actually just this thing has a metal roof so it's a little bit extra protection but I can just go ahead and just build this out so uh, let's go ahead and give that a shot so let's start here let's go ahead and just work soon Get the starting so let's give you an idea of what we're gonna build here. This would be a, a little foundation to our sort of an addition to our attic because it doesn't really have one. And I'll just build that up a little more. Let's see if we can actually do this instead. Let's just build out, maybe. And of course, I ran out. Just to kind of get the general idea of what's going to go on here. So, if I build out from this, using this as a uh, starting point, should be able to get a nice idea of how this. Well, this is not really an attic, it's more of a base. But base building in there, it's, uh, yeah, makes it a little bit easier. Let's see if I can get this thing upside down to stay. Of course not. That's uh, not gonna work. Maybe I could do this instead. I guess it doesn't really work that way that well. So let's go ahead and just keep using the square blocks. They seem to work best. And we'll just build out from here. Start small. And I mean, if I have to shave this roof off, that's, that's like no big deal. I can just, uh, you know, I can just block it out. Or better yet, maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do this. Let's take these blocks out. Uh, so. Oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, well, those two are lost. Let's try this. So, you come out this little cut part here. Let's uh, drop these blocks back in. 
I kind of like using these as test blocks. You kind of get the idea of how it's going to look before I build the final. And it's really cool that we can actually pick these up rather than just, you know, have to destroy them, try over and over again until we get it just the way we want it. Because if I do this, then I can build a nice solid floor up here. Right here. So after the fact, of course. Maybe I'll just destroy these little peaks because these peaks are kind of in the way. The only problem is they're made out of friggin' metal, so it's gonna take forever to break them. Let's see what we could do here. If anybody has any suggestions, uh, please leave a comment below. This is all kind of an experimentation here. You know, being a new server. Yeah, you know, just trying something different. Take it over here. Let's go see if we can get some wood. Since we're pretty low on wood here. And hopefully we won't find too many zombos out here. Oop, bird nest. So I'll have to get that later. And I've got the, for those of you who are just uh, interested in how the settings are, I've got it set for uh, Nomad for the zombie strike. I've got it set for uh, drops every day. And I've got... Loot set a little higher just so we can have some fun with that. But, and I also have cheats off, so I'm not going to be able to just spawn something yet, just like a. a uh, later on down the road, if we decide to uh, you know, increase the difficulty of zombies if they're not hard enough, yeah, okay, I'll do it. We'll get those things maybe up to as high as we can go. Uh, but for starters, it's kind of tough to, to get started with the. Uh, High level zombies. Let's go ahead and make another axe. Scrap that. Grab some food. Looks like I've started to get a little bit low on water here. So I need to find a water source and, and really quick. Uh, so far, I have not found one. I may end up having to just use snow. Oh, shit. What's this? That's not good. I'm on fire. Alright, so let's see if we can find some water sources around here. Let's check our map to see if there's anything interesting. What's this? Water. We found some water here. Let me go ahead and actually mark that on the map. Uh, okay. Just do a quick waypoint. Let's go get some water before I completely die of uh, dehydration. So this area is actually not bad. You got a nice little cabin here. We've got plenty of wood, plenty of uh, fiber here. I see quite a few rocks around, and I hear a zombo somewhere nearby. Where are you? It's probably a crawler. Oh, there it is. Let's get the cord out. Now, one thing I find works uh, really well is to actually just smack him right in the head. Uh, starting off, it's really tough because, yeah, our gear sucks, to be honest with you. What I like to do is I like to uh, sprint in and back, smacking, but aim a little bit higher, and you'll actually hit him right in the head. Uh, later on, this will actually become very useful. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're not a piggy. You're a fuckly, but you're not a piggy. Yeah. Knock 
take you out. <laughs> Yay. Oh, let's see. Did I make you something back? I can't remember. But we can go back. No, I didn't make a city back yet. Let's have a little fun here. I'm going to uh, just you know, gather stuff of intel here. And looks like I'm not too far away. Let's check the map. Uh, further away. This is a very large prairie. to get back soon because the zombies are starting to come out. Looks like there's quite a few houses out here, which is nice. I have to uh, explore these afterwards. Is that a car? How did a car get out here? Check this thing out. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Deer, if I had girls, I would shoot you. Uh, keep going. Keep this. Nice. Note to self, make a sleeping bag. I don't really see much cotton out here, so I'm going to have to try to find an area that has cotton. That's normally the forest areas. Uh, I see quite a bit out there. Uh, and maybe I'll just start doing a little garden of uh, cotton. I'll you know, find some gathered up and uh, bring it back here. This map definitely has some pretty cool hills in it. Nice. Uh, the other map for uh, Alpha 13 seems to be Navscan. It just seems to be just very flat. Uh, yeah, nothing really out of the ordinary. But this is pretty cool. It's got mountains in it. I mean, you could possibly uh, just tunnel right into them, make like, a base out of here, like a, a bunker. Maybe we'll try that sometime. Let's check the map and see where we are. Almost there. I suppose I should just check this trash hole here. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's handy. Wow, this is nice. So, starting off, don't punch zombies. They don't like it. Is this a forest biome? Are you kidding me? Let's check the map here. Yeah, there's like a little forest biome here. Maybe I can find some uh, cotton. Here we go. Cotton. That's all? Really? One cotton? Two cotton? Two cotton. Woohoo! There's more. Get up. Kind of wish we could plant chrysanthemum as well, because that's actually nice to uh, make some drinks. I, uh, yeah, maybe I'll add that later. Just gather up all the cotton I can and go back and get my gear. Well, this should be a good start. I can actually make some nice seeds out of these. Oh, that does feel good. Cloth fragments. I need two wood. <sighs> okay. Right. It's getting dark. This is not good. Not good at all. 
let's see what we can do here. Get some wood. Get split. How about split? Split time. Get a little more wood just in case I need it. Did it again? <sighs> don't run down mountains. Is that a good thing? Not good if you don't want to die. So let's see. I am totally lost. Ah, there we go. So this is seven minutes to die, I guess, compared to seven days to die. Let's see if I can make this back. I kind of hate to strip all these bandages on, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Looks like I'm getting much closer. Let's check them out. Perfect. What I think I'll do is I'll just grab my gear and I'll camp out on the roof tonight and uh, then we'll call it an episode and I'll come back for episode two. But let me go ahead and uh, retrieve that gear first and uh, hide out up on the roof for a little bit so I can heal up some. Let's see. My gear is somewhere. Eh, another car. Nice. So far, this is a pretty cool map. You have uh, really tight, close uh, biomes. I mean, you, you walk through one, and 15 seconds later, you're in another. It gives you the options to get the specialized items from those biomes, which is really nice. Almost there. Alright, where's my bag? Really? There we go. Ran right over it. What the hell? Let's, uh, wear that. Wear that. Wear that. Some gloves. Pants. Eat a little bit. You know what we forgot to do? Get that friggin' water source. Oh, let's see. Where is it on the map? It's actually pretty close to where I am. So let's go grab some quick water. I've got my cans here. Cans. Glass jar. This is a good start. Let me, uh... I can find the water. Water. Fresh water. Okay. I don't need alcohol yet. Awesome. So I've got a water source. I've got my base right by here. So let me get back to the base, hop up on the roof, and uh, wait out the night so I can heal up. And uh, I will call it a night. And uh, we'll get back to you in episode two of Seven Days to Die. There. Almost there. Now the cool thing about this place is it actually has a deck, it has a separate entrance. So I have multiple ways to get out of the house if I have to in a hurry, which is awesome. So let me close that door, run upstairs because it's practically midnight as it is. Holder. There we go. I really need to just make a ladder here, I think. Uh, this makes a good ladder. A pinch. Alright, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and camp up here, and uh, I'll see you next time on 
Seven Days to Die. This is Classic Gamer signing off. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Feel free to comment below. And if you like the video, hit like and please subscribe.